Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that has come up on the tilecoach.com forum and that is the question of where do you stop your backer board and start your drywall because there's always a transition from going from a shower uh, to a drywall when it gets outside of the shower you see I have my curb and the shower pan here and at what point do you stop your backer board and waterproofing and start your drywall finished wall. So you can see I got all of the permabase up. If you want to see the other videos to this project, I'll put the links in the description below. That way you can see everything from the demo to the plumbing to the waterproofing, framing, and all of that stuff. But today I'm going to be talking specifically about this just because it comes up so much. So let's get into it. What we have here is you can see our shower curb down here. And what I usually do is I put a nailer when I'm doing the framing. I will put a two by six or a two by four turned on its side and supported so that when we put in the shower door, this has solid backing to sink the screws into. And that's pretty typical of what framers will do around a tub or a shower. So usually you have a nice wide two by six or two by four to screw into. And what I like to do is meet about halfway in the middle of that two by four. And on this one, I went a little bit farther with the backer board, that's fine. This line here where I stop my backer board is in about the middle of the curb. Again, I'm pushed out just a little bit more. So that's where you, you would stop your backer board. And the framing here is nice because you can put screws both in the backer board and the drywall on that same blocking, giving it nice solid support. You definitely don't want your drywall just flapping in the wind or your uh, backer board. So these are both anchored to that nailing plate. And now what I'm gonna do is figure out where I want the tile to end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mark from the outside of the curb. I'm just gonna take a Sharpie line. I'll make a, a nice Sharpie line in line with the outside of the curb. So there you see I have my level, drew a line right here so that I have a line with the outside of the curb. So there's a couple ways to waterproof this. You can either use sheet membrane like this RSS sheet membrane or Curdy, and you would just cover the transition like so, up to the black Sharpie line. Now we are completely waterproofed and we're bridging that gap. And then our tile again is gonna hang about a half inch past that line. So that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it, cause I'm gonna be using liquid waterproofing on the walls. You can just use your alkali resistant joint mesh tape and do the same thing, cover the transition like so, and then apply thin set. Once that thin set dries, then you can apply your liquid waterproofing. Now that I have my mesh tape up, I went ahead and put some blue tape on the drywall just so I don't get a bunch of my thin set onto the drywall itself. I always make sure to peel my blue tape off as soon as possible because what happens if the paper of the drywall soaks in the moisture from the thin set and then you pull your tape off, it will pull the paper off of the face of the drywall. Be careful of that if you're gonna use blue tape. I have some Multimax light thin set. The Multimax light has a consistency similar to drywall mud. It doesn't have sand in it. It's really easy to spread and apply. I use Multimax light when I'm doing stuff like mesh tape and the sheet membrane, the band and the corners and everything. And also in my testing, it holds water for up to 14 days without any penetration under the band. So works really well with sheet membranes. Even if you're doing curdy, I recommend using Multimax Light. So I'm actually packing it into the joint between 
the drywall and the cement board. I want to make sure I get nice good coverage. So now that I pulled my tape, I have a nice clean line and the tile is going to hang over again. It's going to hang over this line for about a half inch. So all I need to do is once this dries, apply my liquid waterproofing up to that same edge and we'll be good. Thank you again for spending some time with me and watching the video all the way to the end. If you have questions on your tile project like this one here, go to tilecoach.com, sign up for the membership and you'll have access to the tile and advice forums where there's pros, DIYers, people in the middle, sharing information, sharing tips and tricks so that you can do your project right. Again, tilecoach.com. And before I go, I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first Others way before myself, yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man It's all about finding your right state of mind It's all about turning the worst into fine It's all about time and the work and the climb From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Somebody take your time and